Okay, so here, we're here with the uh, the winner of the Masters 35 plus one two three race, and uh, why don't you talk about your team? And sure. Um, first, from San Francisco, uh, right for Hard Cycle, we have Mom, Wild Horse Alliance, and uh, we have about six Masters racers, um, usually spread around, oh, spread around the state, um, the local area. And we have a couple Pro One Two racers as well. The team's only about 50 Hi. Hi. I'm pretty small, but everyone's pretty talented. Cool. Cool. So walk us through, walk us through how the race went. Um, there was, I think, around 40 riders in the race. Um, the Masters races tend to be pretty aggressive and tactical. Um, I raced yesterday a couple races. So I was kind of a little bit tired. Was racing kind of wanted to uh, Central Coast Circuit race. Okay. How'd you do that? Um, my teammate won. I got fifth. Nice. Um, so the, the beginning of the race was really aggressive. So I just pretty much sat in, um, saved my energy, and figured that when everyone got tired. Three quarters of the way through the race, I have to start being a little more aggressive than I do. I mean, that's kind of the strategy we had. Um, I talked to Chad a lot before the race. We used to race as juniors together back okay. in the 80s, so we knew each other pretty well. We kind of figured we'd help each other out, and I know okay. he wanted to stay out of trouble. So um, the last uh, lap was just about staying in good position and trying to stay in the first uh, three or four for the last couple turns, and it kind of worked out that way. So, as a sprint finish at the end? Yeah, so I was um, third wheel coming out the last turn. Okay. Um, Chad let it out and he kind of pulled off pretty early. And then I was on Joel's wheel, I guess. And uh, he sprinted on the right, which was good for me. He was actually in the win. I was able to pass him on the left and have a pretty easy ride in the finish. Nice. And when did you start sprinting from like 200 yards out? Or? I went a little early. It was probably 200 meters and um, a little bit earlier than I would like to. Yeah. Plus, it was in the headwind, but I was a little nervous about the sprint today. And then, um, I didn't go full gas until the last 100 meters. I was okay. kind of metering a little bit, seeing how the pack was going. I didn't really see anyone catching up to me, so I kind of took it easy a little bit. So how many watts can a, a sprinter like you put out? I don't know. I don't really think I'm a sprinter. I've never really gone. I've never really gone over 1,200 watts, so uh, a lot of guys go a lot higher. Um, Gives me hope. Yeah, so. long, longer sprints and uh, harder sprints into headwinds or in, uh, uphill are, are better yeah. for me. I'm not, I don't really say anything. I'm a sprinter, but yeah, yeah. cool, awesome. Yeah. All right, so now we have our segment sure. of uh, clean or dirty. We get to pick a, something and uh, figure out if you, if you think it's clean or dirty. You like it or, not, or don't like it. So, uh, like it or don't like it. So, yeah, the, uh, come All right, recumbent bikes, clean or dirty. Um, what do you think? I would never ride a recumbent bike, at least not at this age, but um, <laughs> who knows? Uh, there's a lot of guys in San Francisco who ride them. We have a lot of older riders, so um, as long as you're out there, I think that's that's a good thing. So. Nice, nice. Cool. Well, thanks for racing. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, guys.